Hi, Saggy. It's one, two, three, four on the clock. So you guys can be seeing those numbers. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. Um, this is going to be for anybody with Sagittarius placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles. Tip of resonates. Leave it doesn't fit for your situation. Thank you guys so much for your love, your support, and your donations. And uh, booking your personals with me. I appreciate you very much. I'm sending you a lot of love, light, peace, and harmony on your journey. <coughs> Ooh. I don't know if that choked up, Saggy. All right, whatever the fuck. Something could be going on with somebody's throat chakra. <laughs> I don't know. But um, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other social media platforms. Okay. Let's tap in, Saggy. Let's see what's going on. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. Please return any spell work and the dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Saggy. Protect me as I channel for my Sagittarius. So, let's see. So we have bound by love in reverse. It says deep connection, attachment. That's in reverse. Okay. Else? Somebody is healing codependency. So what it sound like. Self-care, breathe, restore balance. I forgot who had that in reverse. Unfinished in reverse. Leaving things unfinished, tying up loose ends. Things left unresolved, seeing things through. That's in reverse. And we have date night, romance going out. Mm. Bottom of the deck is blown away, amazed, unexpected. So Sagittarius, what this feels like is you're finally, whether something is unfinished or not, you're releasing it because and you're working on you you could be going out on dates here you could be you know what i'm saying going out and doing you just period um because you might have a deep connection with somebody but you holding on to them is not really doing anything for you in your life so i feel like you're releasing them okay and it could be with unfinished that you don't really feel like they're doing the work they're not or well, they're just not coming forward. I don't know, but I feel like you're restoring balance by really, really releasing something and letting it go. Like really surrendering it. What's this bound by love here in reverse? Like, I feel like you're we're bound by love in reverse. I feel like you do love somebody. You're just understanding unconditional love. Like you love somebody whether y'all end up together or not. Okay, you're you're probably releasing this mindset of like, oh, well, we're going to be together because that's what it is. Like, that's probably not the case. Yeah, two of swords and the nine of wands in the world. It's like maybe you would like to be with them. It's kind of, it feels bittersweet, but I feel, you know, it's not going nowhere. It's like, what's bound by love here in reverse? So it feels like you're okay. You have the word. It feels like you're learning unconditional love or something like that. Learning how to unconditionally love somebody without like, yeah. So I feel like you're closing out something from your past, okay? With the six of cups, I really feel like you're doing a lot of inner child healing. You guys could be traveling, moving around, just enjoying your life, enjoying your time. Um, but you are doing like inner child healing, and whatever this is, is closing out a cycle and it's bring it bringing about a new beginning for you. Okay, um, you could be online doing something. You could be sharing your gifts with others online. You could have an online presence or something like that. But a new beginning is coming in. I feel like you feel whole and complete. Something something about you, you feel good about where you're at. Knowing that you maybe care about a person or you miss them or whatever the case may be. But I feel like you're ready for like the reality. You're ready for a connection to actually show up. That's what that's what it feel like. Like you're tired of missing somebody or you're tired of 
having these googly feelings for somebody and it's just like not showing up for you. That's what it feel like. For some of you guys, you could be releasing um, a connection that is toxic. And now that you're completely like disconnecting and cutting the soul tie, you're, um, a whole new world is opening up for you. You're opening up to like your gifts. You're doing things that you used to do that really bring you joy that you feel like you couldn't do in a relationship with a particular person. Like something like that. Yeah, the moon, the eight of swords. Let's see. What's uh what's the world here? Mm, the magician in reverse, Virgo Gemini. What's the world with the magician in reverse? <clears throat> the Emperor. Mm. Aries, here we got Virgo Gemini. So <clears throat> So on one end, I'm getting, um, with the magician in reverse, I'm getting like somebody has an untapped like ability, something that they haven't tapped into yet. They haven't learned that part of themselves, which probably they need to learn in order to move to the next level in the journey. But, um, this could actually like be your divine masculine that hasn't tapped into something yet. And maybe they're getting ready to with the world. Maybe there's a new beginning with that. But with the Magician Reverse, so I'm getting like a lack of mental clarity. Like you, you don't have clarity around where this person is at or what they're doing or how the connection is going to go from what it is now to, you know what I'm saying? You, you just don't have clarity. Um, <clears throat> This uh, this masculine, this emperor, they could have a lot of manipulation going on around them. Okay, like somebody's a trickster or conniving. What's the magician in reverse? What's this? The king of swords. What's the magician in reverse with the king of swords? Two of swords. Yeah, it's something. Who does emperor spirit? What's the emperor? Temperance in reverse, Sagittarius. This person can have Sag in their chart. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is experiencing a lot of discord and disharmony because they're detaching from something. It's something that they're trying to detach from that's been causing them a stalemate. They're experiencing a lot of disharmony or there's people around this person trying to antagonize them or cause an imbalance somewhere. But, um... Temperance in reverse, too, is giving me, like, a self-indulging energy. Like, I don't know if you're closing out a cycle with this person because this is how they are. Like, they're too busy trying to control the narrative or control what's going on instead of just releasing and surrendering and, you know, letting the situation play out, how it's going to play out with y'all and really understanding who they are as a divine masculine. Or if this is them um, coming coming to terms with, they do, with the fact that they have gifts and that they're being manipulated by people around them. It's one or the other. It could be both for some of you, but this two of swords, Libra Moon. We got Aquarius here with the King of Swords. This two of swords, something is at a stalemate. Somebody's heart chakra is blocked or closed off, or it's something. This could be Archangel Michael trying to protect you or protect someone from some sort of interference. This cycle is closed out, though, with the world. This cycle is closed out, and there's a new beginning, so. Yeah, there's the Empress and the Knight of Swords. Give me more on this Emperor right here with the Tempest in reverse. I feel like somebody's working close, closely with Archangel Michael to, um, for protection. Yeah, the Lovers. I feel like... Somebody's aware of something. This person has tapped into something. But I feel like somebody's like playing dumb. That's what it, this is. It's, it's giving me that too. Like somebody's playing stupid. Like they don't know what's happening. Or like, I don't know. Somebody has a gift though. 
they detach from something and they're realizing that they have a gift. Okay. Um, the lovers talks about like making a choice between two, but that talks about yin and yang. That's duality. That's violence. This could be like a kindred spirit, a soulmate, you uh, meeting new people. Okay. This is a, the lovers talks about like having some sort of beneficial partnership. It could talk about you having to make major decisions in love, but you know, there's something that's balancing out for somebody. I feel like somebody's aware of some sort of magic that's being done or some sort of manipulation tactic, child. What's the Six of Cups? You could be dealing with a Gemini. Okay, King of Pentacles in reverse. What's the Six of Cups with the King of Pentacles in reverse? All these masculines here already. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, yeah. There's been like a delay, setbacks, especially with somebody's finances. This King of Pentacles in reverse is definitely somebody that's greedy. They're a slob, they're broke, okay? Very much so a bum, an unsuccessful businessman or woman. But I get, this could be too, this masculine where they've been kind of like um, extorted or... Something about a masculine has is what's what's the words I'm looking for, spirit? Somebody's like remembering their childhood or remembering certain things. Somebody's been used for their money or something like that. And it's been causing a lot of things to be set back, delayed. Somebody has been, hasn't really been getting paid how they're supposed to. Seven of Pentacles in reverse is definitely a lot of frustration and, and setbacks, but um, that it talks about impatience as well and like not seeing anything grow. Somebody has been broke, <clears throat> excuse me, for a while. <clears throat> it's because like they're not somebody. Is, somebody could still be a bit childish. It's like somebody's transitioning. That's what this feels like. Somebody's still a bit childish, though. They need to... This, too, is like some sort of programming. This is like some sort of distorted belief system, religious be beliefs and shit like that that's kept somebody stuck and not tapping into a, a, probably an ability that they have, a psychic ability or something that they feel is demonic or what they've been taught is demonic. This person is very traditional, Okay, the Hierophant, the Nine of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the damn Three of Pentacles. These are people working together. This could be a group of religious people doing this to somebody. Okay, that's trying to keep this person or spiritually manipulate them and some more shit. Somebody's trying to intimidate them or make them feel a certain kind of way about choosing a certain path or what to believe in. It's what it feels like. So this is why this person's gifts is being like held back. They need to become aware of the people that they're working with or around or... Whatever they're in, it's not healthy. It's not helping them grow. They don't have a real connection to source doing whatever this is. So maybe you and this person have a connection, but there's an imbalance with the temperance. Somebody is like self-indulgent. Something is out of balance here. I don't know. The Empress, wow, and the High Priestess. Or this could be like just, I don't know, there's people around like antagonizing or something like that. They're like being an antagonist. But let's see, what's self-care, breathe, restore balance? Nine of Swords in reverse. What's self-care? Four of Cups. Mm. Mm. So it looks like something is at a stalemate for someone. We got Gemini, Mars, Cancer, Moon, Taurus, Saturn is here. Um, somebody here could be being haunted for something that they did. Somebody is stuck. They're at a stalemate. They're stuck. They're discontent. They're upset. Okay. This is like a really self-absorbed energy though. Let's see. What's the Nine of Swords in reverse? The Nine of Pentacles. You guys could be saying nine, nine, nine. What's the Nine of Swords here with the Nine of Pentacles? The Strength card. Yeah, somebody's overcoming challenges here and they're breaking free. They're liberating themselves. 
now I feel like somebody, I feel like you're moving away from anxiety, fear, or whatever, but I feel like there's somebody here that's like in deep, deep regret or remorse about something. Because there's something that you're overcoming that maybe you would usually take heed to or probably give into, but you're not doing it anymore. So whatever this is, it's not working. You can have Leo in your chart, Virgo somewhere in your chart. Someone can have a Virgo, Venus. <clears throat> Yeah, it's like the tower in reverse. Yeah, an inevitable tower. What's the four of cups? Four of wands. What's the four of cups, four of wands? The queen of cups. It's so fucking cold in here. Why the fuck is it so cold? I need to turn my heat on. I'm like, I'm serious. It is really cold in this hole. Um, so I could have an Aries Venus. We got cancer here. Something something that was working on you, it's not working anymore. I don't know what it is. I feel like, you know, if you have a twin here or something, Sagittarius. Your divine masculine is caught up in something, but it's not keeping you stuck. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you're really learning how to surrender and let this person do their own work because I feel like they're not where you're at. Somebody's not where you're at. And I feel like you've been stuck trying to help this person see something about their journey, their life or whatever. And it's like, it's just, it's probably working, but it's going to work at its own pace. You can't control it. So I feel like um what's happening is i feel like you're elevating with the queen of cups and the four of wands i mean this could be a reunion of some sort this could be you going out this could be celebrations this could be you spending time with your family this could be you getting a new home so congrats this could be you um getting more recognition and, and you just being proud of your achievements with the four of wands but it's It's like, I feel like you see yourself elevating like a lot, like fast, but something's still stuck here between you and somebody. It's like, they're not where you're at possibly. You know what I'm saying? It's something like that. So I feel like you're, there is a need to like uh, restore balance or something. I feel like that's what you're doing, but I don't know. Somebody could be feeling rejected or you could be feeling rejected or you're just very discontent with this, whatever this is that's going on. Or somebody's discontent with the fact that you're celebrating and you're getting ready to fucking go off and do whatever. Because you learned your lesson with the three of pentacles, the, the fool, the hierophant, the six of swords. Like you learned your lesson here. So, I mean... Yeah, so let me see. Um, who does Queen of Cups right here? So you could have psychic abilities here. You could be a psychic, a healer. You could get a lot of attention for that kind of work that you do. I feel like somebody here too. The Seven of Cups and the Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands with the Five of Swords. Somebody, my cat out there whining. He's really mad. <laughs> okay, I'll let you in in a minute. You're going to have to wait, buddy. You're going to have to wait. But somebody here could be doing like magic and shit like that. They're working hard to keep somebody blocked or cause an imbalance somewhere. It's I feel like it's to get you to ignore your union in some sort of way too, though. That's why Spirit is telling you to restore balance. Just make sure you're doing things. Make sure everything that you're doing is equal. You know what I'm saying? Like you're not doing too much or you're not overindulging in something. Okay, but... He be mad when I don't let him in here like, sir, you better sit your butt out there and wait for me to come out there and get you. <laughs> don't get mad. And you know what I'm saying? And upset when you be in here acting a damn fool and I got work to do. I got readings to do. Yeah, the high priestess, the devil, the tower, the seven of cups, the page of pentacles. Like... child there's a lot of spiritual warfare going on here what's a uh, unfinished in reverse i feel 
like you graduated because you do love this person. You care about them. But it's just stuck. I feel like you're accepting of the fact that this is stuck and you can't do anything about it. <laughs> That's just period. Seven of Swords in reverse. What's unfinished with the Seven of Swords in reverse? Aquarius, Moon, Six of Wands in reverse. Mm. Okay. Leo, Jupiter. Something is blowing up here. <laughs> Was unfinished in reverse. Something is finished. It's over. <laughs> like, okay, something has came out. Somebody's either confessed something they had to come clean or some sort of strategy or plan that didn't work. This could be a group of people that's been doing shit. Seven of Swords in reverse with the Six of Wands in reverse. These people were clout chasing, clout hungry. They're fame hungry. Definitely people. I don't know, but they lost at something though. There's something that they can't they can do. Yeah, we got the King of Cups here, the Justice, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. That's matching the Queen of Cups. I don't know. Like, mm, they try to do something to you. Then that didn't work on you. You're too strong. Now, when it comes down to this masculine, I don't know what happened over there. But you, I feel like you graduated. And these people are upset about it. I feel like, mm-mm. Ace of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Somebody getting left out in the cold for new is what it feels like to me. What's the Seven of Swords in reverse? Yeah, the Death card. Yeah, something just over. It's over. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Something is finished. It's done. It's over with. I mean, I don't know what else to say. What's the Six of Wands in reverse? The tower, yeah, something was inevitably going to end anyways, okay? Somebody try to avoid a loss or avoid a tower. It's going to happen to regardless with the tower in reverse. That's an inevitable tower. Something was going to come out to regardless. So whatever somebody was trying to sneak and do, it's not working. Somebody's consciousness is kicking in as well. <laughs> somebody's going through a death and a rebirth. It's like, no, I don't know what somebody tried to do, but it don't even matter because it's over. What's this date night card romance going on? Ace of Swords. What's date night with the Ace of Swords? Ace of Wands in reverse. Mm. So I feel like there's a lot of like um delays within your love life, okay? Um the Ace of Wands in Reverse talks about like somebody here getting disappointing or bad news. Maybe the fact that you're getting ready to go out on a date with somebody is bad news for someone else. But that Ace of Wands in Reverse, I feel like you're finding out the truth about why your dating life has been in shambles. The healing work that you needed to do had a lot to do with your dating life, possibly. Ace of Wands in Reverse is like... um. Someone here showing disinterest or feeling trapped. Let me see. What's the Ace of Wands in reverse? Excuse me. Five of Pentacles. What's the Ace of Wands in reverse? Five of Pentacles. Eight of Swords in reverse. Three of Swords. Eight of Wands. Page of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're coming out of some sort of like stuck energy where you felt restricted or victimized or... You could have overcame some sort of like abuse too as well. You're out of some sort of trap here and somebody's getting left out in the cold or there's people that was trying to keep you stuck or cause people to stop being interested in you or to cause you to stop being interested in like actually getting to know other people, going out on dates and blah, blah, blah. I feel like they're disappointed in that because you're, you're out of the restriction. With the Eight of Swords in reverse, it's like you're not being in a self-imposed imprisonment. You're, you're not trapped. Your mind is not fucked up. Whatever the goal was here, it just didn't work. Whatever the goal was. Mm. <laughs> you escaped some sort of trap here. I feel like somebody, yeah, Ace of Cups. Somebody was trying to like stop you from elevating is what it feels like mainly to me. Like they just, what's the Ace of Swords? And I feel like it, whatever is involved in this masculine, Okay, yeah, Three of Pentacles. What's the Ace of Swords, Three of Pentacles? 
there's a breakthrough here in your partnerships. Yeah, look, Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you, like, you, you've gained some sort of truth here. There's a generational curse that you've broken here, Sagittarius, from due to all your hard work. I feel like you work really close with your guys, your spirit team, okay? There's, like, a breakthrough because there's going to be some sort of, like, commitment. Three of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. Ten and three, that's the death card. So something is over. Something is completely over. Whatever this shit is that somebody was doing, this could be a ritual. This could be a whole bunch. I don't know. But something is over. You healed something on your, your bloodline. Whatever the generational curses are, you've healed it. And now you, you're you getting this Ten of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles talks about hard work, dedication, um, learning from your past mistakes. Okay, not settling. I feel like you know exactly what you want now. It's like something has been broken off of your bloodline. So these were people that were trying to bind, bind you, sacrifice you, do whatever. That, that didn't work. Okay. I feel like there's a stalemate with your union, though. Like your twin flame, if you're in one. Because, like, this person is there. Look, I don't know what their problem is here. Like, maybe they're, they're right behind you. I don't know. But, you know. Let me see something real quick. What do I want to pull? Because this energy over here with this person is very confusing. Like, I feel like you probably, like, okay. With that King of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Magician in Reverse, I feel like you're closing out a cycle with this person. Because they're at a stalemate. They're not saying anything to you. This person is very aloof. They're very cold. They're not being honest with you about something. I don't know. They can have the truth, but I feel like they're just keeping it to themselves or something like that. That's not helping your union if that's your person. This emperor with the lovers, that could actually be like, with the emperor, it doesn't have to be an actual divine masculine, but it like it doesn't have to be your actual divine counterpart, divine masculine. It could actually be, you could be meeting other divine people. You know what I'm saying? That's going to match your energy. You feel me? So I feel like with the temperance, you know, just make sure you're take, taking your time, doing things in moderation. Don't be hasty. Don't rush anything and shit like that. Because you can meet people or you could be meeting somebody that's going to take action. They're going to show up for you. They have structure. They have organization. They know what they want. And this person could be a father. Like the, the emperor could mean any damn thing, that, even though that is my divine masculine card. But like, I feel like you're leaving somebody behind because it's just like they're just childish. They're not ready for what you're ready for. And, like, you can't sit there and wait for them. And whoever these people... I feel like these people were involved with this masculine in some sort of way. They lost with trying to do some shit to you. Because that you're too strong for that. Like, I don't know. Who this King of Swords right here with this Magician in Reverse? Who is that? Retreat. Introspection. Hermit. Figuring it out. Yeah. Okay. What else? Weird flags, unusual, strange, boasting. What else? Twin flame, I told you. Magnetic, intense emotions, mirroring. Like, that's what I was feeling. There ain't no matches here. I know I feel twin flames. I know I feel them when I feel them. I know what it is. <laughs> like, I, I know it. But what's the twin flame card? Who this new persona healing good riddance? <laughs> What's the twin flame card? OD excessive overdoing it horde. Cock block vacay viral. Your twin could have like an addiction. They could they could I don't know what they do, but um I feel like yeah with horde and excessive. I feel like you've been kind of like holding on to something this person and it's like they're continuing to show you that they're not they're not going to say anything they're aloof okay they're they could be under like some sort of magic or something like that too though is what i'm saying like this person you got to keep leveling up you can't stay stuck here what's this who does emperor spirit mind games manipulate guilt trip unfair advantage what's the emperor Taking ill, loss, setback, failure, and heartstrings, falling in love, yearning, special bond. This is mind games here. 
lurking in reverse social media stalking pictures watching afar what's mind game brick wall guarded defensive hesitant what's heartstrings or your twin could be blocking out somebody that got addictions i don't know but something weird with that dms new message interested secret admirer that came out in reverse i feel like i think i forgot to flip it upright when i was shuffling for the last reading that i did but aggie left on red low tolerance avoid that's what i'm saying like i feel like that's all your masculine over there they're shape-shifting because they are disconnected. It feel like they're disconnecting from somebody or something. Like, maybe that's their talent. They know how to shape-shift. I don't know. But I just, I don't know. You got to let that shit do what it's going to do because that shit sound like... Who this right here? I'm just cleaning the cups. It's a lot going on right there. Yeah, that's you. Come up, inheritance, lump sum, relief. <laughs> like, this person... Jaded, lacking motivation, stagnant excuses. What else for the Queen of Cups? And I oop. <laughs> Surprise, mixed emotions, humiliation. That's in reverse. So somebody who could have been trying to uh, humiliate you or do something, and I feel like they got, they didn't get what they wanted out of the situation. They tried to cause you to be stagnant or whatever the fuck this is. I feel like that didn't work. I don't know. Somebody, what's this right here? This Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. This shit be sounding stupid to me. I don't be having the patience no more, y'all, for this dumb shit. We got caught up here, infidelity, uncontrollable, playing victim, risk it all, leap of faith, no regrets, new endeavors. The T, receipts, tough love, exposed. Yeah, I feel like you've gotten the truth about something. Beefing, at war, separation, harsh words, fake woke. I feel like you got you got you got the tea on something, or you understand. You just understand your journey. Like you know what's going on here. So right here could be married. They're involved in a third party, and it's just like you're now you're disinterested. You don't want to be with them, and you're moving towards something else. You're taking a leap of faith somewhere else. Like I don't know if that's your twin or not, child, but take flight it says ascension yeah new knowledge explore spark perfect match gut feeling soul connection give flowers appreciation spotlight special moment yeah i feel like you're getting ready to be celebrated that's really all i care about i don't got the patience today to be talking about these hoes and the stupid shit that they do because they know that they stupid they should know that they dumb as hell by now it's like i don't even got time to be dealing with all this shit all the I'm at the point, too, as a reader, like, and I'm at a collective, too. I'm with y'all. So, I understand the readings. I know what they are. You know what I'm saying? I've been there already. But I'm just saying, like, don't nobody want to keep being stuck and stagnant. Like, do the fucking work. If you ain't going to do the work, move out the way. Move out of my way because I'm doing the work. You feel me? And no shade. But that's what it is, though. Because this shit right here is pathetic. Don't nobody got time to be dealing with this shit at all somebody here boasted to the wrong people about you now they're attacking you and you're their twin the whole time i feel like they weren't aware that you were their twin and now i feel like they're not saying anything this person is not speaking to you y'all are separated they're detaching probably from someone because of this but are they they're not talking to you just yet i don't know but what's coming in for saggy <laughs> They ain't saying nothing to you right now. A secret that has been kept from you will soon be revealed. Okay. Good. What else? Spirit. You may be feeling a heavy energy and anxiety created by subconscious fears with up with upcoming energy. Be mindful of your thoughts or you will soon manifest these worries into reality. Yeah. You will soon face difficulties that will cause an increase in anxiety for you. Seek support from from helpful, pe helpful people at this moment. I mean, at this time. Something about anxiety, child. So we got an exciting new love relationship will become available to you this year that will promise many new and passionate opportunities. 
something new. You will soon meet someone new <laughs> that is part of your soul family. A deep friendship will form that will help you further evolve. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're ready to elevate. Don't nobody got time for this shit right here. The loss of a loved one will be inevitable. Spirit will send you supportive energies at this time. So you could be getting rid of somebody in your family or somebody here has passed. I'm sorry to hear that. My condolences. Okay, it says, at this time, you may find yourself feeling overwhelmed and confused about the direction you want your life to go in. Then we have a challenging situation within family will be resolved. So that's good. Putting another's needs ahead of your own will bring about downfall. Yeah. So I don't know. It just feels like somebody is more elevated than the other. And that's fine. Everybody move at their own pace. But that don't mean you got to sit back and like just keep sitting here though that's what i'm saying like i feel like you've done so much work it's really time for you to celebrate yourself you sitting back and waiting on somebody to catch up when there's people out here that's already where you're at i just don't see the point i don't so this was your reading saji <clears throat> i hope that it resonated for you okay hopefully you got some clarity let me know down below in the comments um, like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on. Make sure you press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my readings. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.